have become the weapons of political despot. Yes, ma'am. And I... if you don't think as they think, you're deprived of your passport. Will you allow me to... To leave a country is like breaking out of jail. Yes, And but... to enter a country is like going through the eye of a needle. But we... Am I free to travel? Of course you're free to travel. Only with the passport. Will you allow me to say something? Only with the passport. And free speech, does that exist? No, you've got it all. And free enterprise. We were talking of passports. Today it's all monopoly. All right. Now will you Can I go me? into the automobile business and compete with the auto trust? If I can get in a word. Not a chance. Can I go into the grocery business and compete with the chain stores? Will you shut up? Not a chance. Originally, he wanted to give me the role of the young boy you see in the background blowing peas at him. In the end, he worked with me a bit and decided to give me the other, more important role. It was great for me. Today, man has too much power. The Roman Empire collapsed with the assassination of Caesar. And why? Because of too much power. Feudalism blew up with the French Revolution. And why? Right. Because of too much power. And today the whole world will blow up. And why? Because, because of too much power. I really didn't understand what it was I was reciting, but he never really explained it to me. He told me what tone of voice to use, the feelings to put into it. He acted out the role himself, and I mostly imitated him. That's how I did it. My father was behind me at every moment of the shooting. He really supported me. He directed me in everything I did. I was so happy to have this relationship with him. Working with him was terrific. I'd never had anything like it before, or even after. It was a special moment that we spent together. Don't you remember me? Say I do, the most obnoxious brat I've ever met. He was a pretty difficult father, so this was really something unique. He was a great comedian, a genius. I can't say he was a perfect father, but you can't do everything. <laughs> Here he is. Rupert, there's someone here to see you. Hello, Rupert. Unlike Chaplin's sentimental tendencies in some of his films, this film completely evades that and for me has an incredibly sad, not sentimentally sad wow. ending where this young boy That's is, good, don't you think? well, it's a, a reference to the Rosenbergs, but this kid is broken by the authorities. His spirit is broken. He is forced to name names in order to free his parents from prison. And he's very ashamed. How come, Rupert? I thought we were all over this. And I find that really tragic because what he stood for was was really all the beautiful things. I mean, I, I, I agree with what he spouts out all the time. So. That may be subjective, I don't know, but that makes it a tragedy for me, the film. Poor little fellow, I think a trip would do him good. But of course, there are complications. <laughs> well, let's hope they'll soon be over. I hope so too, sir. We all he really, it is his most rebellious film and, and has the most sting different. to it in a way, the most venom in it, you know, in what, in, in the message he's leaving.